Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Sunday, January 26th. And right now it's 8.51 a.m. I wanted to share something with you that somebody told me about. When I had made the video, day I went into the hospital. I told y'all I was fixing to go to the ER. And I was talking about my financial problems, you know, and how the devil was, just seemed to be out to steal all that I had, you know, put back. And someone suggested, maybe you have a waster spirit. I never heard of that, you know, and she get, uh, told me to look up this, um, let's see, I'm at, Oh, it's a Mega Man radio program is what this is. But I just typed in, what is a waster spirit? And then when I came to the one that said earthquake, I remember she said something about earthquake. His name, his nickname, I guess, is Earthquake Kelly. Okay, so this man, I've listened to the whole thing now, a whole hour and 52 minutes. But really, you get the point. If you listen to at least half, what it is, here's what happened to him. I'm going to summarize it. And y'all can go on there because this has to do with, uh, he can help you with demonic deliverance. If you think you have, it doesn't necessarily mean you have a waster spirit. He can help with deliverances of other kinds. Okay, and he gives out his number. And um, he's in Little Rock, California. Okay, here's the deal. Um, he was sitting in his den, starting to, he was working on a book. And the Lord spoke to him and told him to put his pen down. Or maybe he was typing, I don't know. But to stop the book, get up from there, and go out and walk around his yard. He had a whole acre. Well, he walked around it and went back to the back where he never hardly goes and found a big old pile, he said, like what would fit in the back of a semi. 18-wheeler uh, had been dumped in his yard. And it was like baby diapers and all stuff he couldn't even talk about. Okay, so you can only imagine. And he talked about how he, uh, the Lord told him to get that pile of trash off his property. And he knew it was going to take him a long time because that was a lot. And you got to bag it up, do something with it to get rid of it, right? Well, anyway, I don't want to make this too long. I'm trying to summarize. He was into... Voodoo, Santeria, and um, witchcraft, other matters of the occult, we, you know, doing uh, the Ouija board, things like that. So he was delivered from all of that. So now he knows. See, this is how we know about the stuff the Bible doesn't talk about. Because it's the Lord has pulled out of the occult, Satanists, witches, men like him, like Earthquake Kelly, so they could teach us how to recognize certain kinds of demons, their patterns, what they do, how to get rid of them, and they help people get delivered of demons. Okay. He said, normally you can't see a demon in the day. Normally it's only in the night. But when he was out there one day working on his, taking his rake and digging and digging, and he saw a face in the middle of this pile, told him, oh, get out of here, rattlesnake's going to bite you. And he stood his ground and cleared a spot and said, you come on, snake. <laughs> he, 
he he said, uh, "Ain't no snake gonna bite me." And he, anyway, he did some, you know, like greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, and he stood his ground. And another time, another one appeared and told him, "Your neighbor's gonna shoot your head off if you don't get out of here." Of course, he didn't believe that either. Same thing. He overcame that one. See, they're liars. Satan and his minions are liars, liars, liars. And they will lie you straight to hell if you let them. And don't anybody be coming on here trying to convince me that once saved, always saved is true. Just save your time and your energy and keep it to yourself. I'm not buying it. It's not true. It's a lie from hell. Back to this. All right. And no, I'm not leading anybody astray. The other camp is. And it's making me mad. So stop trying to tell me that I'm doing wrong by teaching that it's a lie. We have to do things. I've said it how many times now? You just take your pride and go on now. Okay. Anyway, back to this. Um... Sorry, I'm still very tired. I've still got a lot of catching up to do. I'm still tired, but I'm better. I am better. And, uh, oh, the Lord is so good, y'all. He's so good. After listening to this, let, let me summarize this up and saying, are you a hoarder? We talked about this a while back. One of you admitted, my house is kind of cluttered. I guess I better be getting busy getting rid of this clutter. Yes. If you hoard uh, whatever, paperwork, uh, just trash, basically, that you don't need, mail that piles up that you need to open and deal with, or just trash it, that I used to be real bad about that. But see, since I've had to move from a really nice big house to a 900 square foot three bedroom apartment to fit four kids and a husband, and then we moved into an old Victorian and we, we picked up a few pieces of stuff. For heaven's sakes. Anyway, uh, then, then as we moved into another place, it fit. It, I mean, as long as it's practical, it's useful, it's something you need, that's one thing. But we're talking about trash and clothes, dirty clothes piling up on the floor and unsightly filth. Okay. You need to get rid of all that stuff, for sure, seriously. And this man, even though his pile was way bigger, <laughs> it was done for reason. And the Lord allowed him to get on Omega Man radio show and tell about it. So that we could learn, we, we, you know, while back people were saying, get your houses in order. Get your houses in order. And most people think of that as spiritual, which it is. Get your spiritual house in order. Get your garbage out of there first. But while you're doing that, get your house in order. Get the junk out of the corners. Clean out the closets and throw out the clothes you don't wear anymore. If they're usable, please donate them to a thrift store. Or a church organization that gives them away for free is even better. But other than that, if a thrift store, you know somebody that needs clothes, just give, give them a sack. Something their size, obviously. Okay. So, he was, this demon, one of these demons stole his best rake. <laughs> Listen. I've had things disappear, and I wanted to say, oh, so-and-so 
took that or so-and-so took that you know what I mean and then it would reappear and then I would think oh no they wouldn't have brought it back if they took it those things were stolen by demons I knew it I knew it in my heart those two favorite blankets of mine disappeared from my house in Jacksonville Alabama when we moved out they were Christmas blankets one was a thick soft throw with cardinals all over it cardinals is the bird of ohio and my aunt had bought it for me i know she paid a hundred dollars for that thing and the other one was a homemade crocheted that my ex-mother-in-law made for all the girls in the family including me her only son's wife and those two blankets were gone they had sentimental value did I need them no but that wasn't the point the point is demons can take things and you demand you ask God to make it, that demon bring back your item if you suspect it and if somebody else stole it well then you may not get it back but it doesn't hurt to try does it the, the spiritual world um I'm talking, that was way back in 97, something like that, maybe, 95, that was quite a long time ago, that from one Christmas to the next, those things disappeared. Anyway, the point is, now I know for sure, demons can steal things. And he talked to God, this man, Earthquake, Kelly, prayed to God to make that demon bring his rake back because it was a like a metal, steel, the really good claws, like you could really dig stuff up because there were roots in that. He had to pull this string out. He was talking about pulling out a string from the ground. And he pulled it and he pulled it and he pulled it for an hour, he said. But then he equated it to a spiritual manner that some of us have to do. Cleaning out a spiritual matter. And we may have to pull on it. See, that I don't, I don't exactly understand how to equate it. But... If you have a spiritual problem or you think you have a demonic influence in your life, you may have a string, so to speak, that you are going to have to pull on for an hour. In other words, fast and pray to get rid of. It takes some work, in other words. You don't just pray, oh dear Lord, make this thing go away. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I command you to be gone. In Jesus' name, amen. And then you consider it gone. Hey, sometimes if they're just hanging around your atmosphere, that'll work. But if it's in here, living in your outer court, it's it could take some fasting and maybe even... Uh, if you can't find a person you trust to lay hands on you, here's what I suggest. Now, you can call this man and ask him. Get you some olive oil if you can. Or um, put a, pour a little vial of whatever you got. Cooking oil, canola oil, vegetable oil. It just needs to be oil. Pray that the Father will bless it for the purpose of anointing for purification and sanctification in Jesus name and you can use that and you can dab it and in Jesus name I command you to leave, leave you can put the sign of the cross or just a mark in here or what it, whatever it is and pray it, it would really help if you could pray in the spirit if you know somebody that can let them be praying with you I would suggest, 
you call him and he could probably tell you better based on your symptoms okay because there's different kind of demons that cause you to do different kind of things and you may be struggling in one area maybe it's smoking maybe it's drinking maybe it's uh, using some bad language and you just can't seem to stop get this man's help you want to lay that thing down put that flesh to death these are things we do to be holy not that you I don't believe you would not go to heaven if you had a demon it would get left if you're overcoming what it's trying to make you do but if you continue to do that sin I mean yes you can repent you can repent every night I'm sorry Lord I did it again I'm sorry I don't seem to I can't understand why I can't get a grip on this you see what I'm talking about you've probably got a demon and you need to get rid of it so to summarize if you have a waster spirit see it was causing him I'm, I, I didn't tell you this part it was that pile of garbage and those demons that had set up an embassy in his backyard that's what he called it a demonic embassy you may have a pile where they've set up a demonic embassy in your basement or in your attic all right now listen it was causing him to not have good book sales that's his income and when he would do a conference not many donations would come in that hurt him see I think that's why somebody suggested that maybe because of this financial thing that had happened to me I could have had a waste your spirit but I don't hoard so I, I really don't believe that's my problem I think that Satan can still attack to steal kill and destroy I've always been one to well not always sometimes because of my illness I'd get tired and I'd let mail pile up and, and then it would take me two three hours to go through it and tear up all kind of like insurance statements that I really didn't need or the parts of them that they include that nobody needs and, and it's just paperwork you got to just deal with it so I hope I haven't bored you too much with this this can be very very important this could mean a breakthrough for somebody okay so I'm very glad that our sister told me about this in a comment so it's um, like I said it's long and it took me a while to get through it that's why I'm just now getting around to reporting on it because I'd listen 30 minutes and then I'd have to go do something or rest and then I listen to about uh, like an hour and then 15 minutes and 15 minutes but I wanted to listen to the whole thing until he got through he prayed for people and then he gave his phone number at the very end that you can call him and he was funny he said now don't call me asking what do I do with all these kittens <laughs> I guess they thought they were hoarding up kittens anyway he said call the SPCA or something he said that's not my kind of question <laughs> he wants to deal with demonic deliverance okay so he's welcome you're welcome to call him for questions on demonic deliverance okay well I'm going to end this here and I say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and over my computer and over each and every one of you and all your devices and your internet connections and with that I'll say bye for now I'll talk to you later